Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to securely convert legacy BIOS system to UEFI firmware and enable secure boot to upgrade to Windows 11. Before you continue this procedure, ensure that your laptop's motherboard supports both legacy and UEFI boot options. If you are not sure, then go to your PC's BIOS and check the support information about your laptop's motherboard. And number two, you should have a Windows installation media. This is only for safety purpose because if anything goes wrong after converting the BIOS mode, then it will help to recover the system. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. At first, let me show you the BIOS mode and secure boot status of this Windows 10 computer. Okay, as you can see, the BIOS mode shows legacy and secure boot status unsupported. Now let me show you partition style of this laptop's internal hard disk. Ok as you can see partition style shows master boot record I mean MBR. Now let's take a closer look at the procedure. At first go to windows advanced recovery environment by holding the shift key and click on restart. After that click on troubleshoot, now click on advanced option and click on command prompt. Now sign in with your administrative account. Now type the command mbr to gpt space for slash validate and press enter. If you see this message disk layout validation failed then type this command mbr to gpt space for slash validate space for slash allow full os. After that press enter. Again if you see this error message that means something wrong with your hard disk layout. In that case just close the command prompt and exit from the windows advanced recovery environment. Now go to Windows Disk Management and let's check what's wrong with the hard disk layout. Ok, the actual problem is this logical drive because GPT partition style does not support any logical partition. I don't have any important data on this logical drive so I'll be format and delete this logical drive. After that, again go to Windows Advanced Recovery Environment by holding the Shift key and click on Restart. Now click Troubleshoot, click Advanced option and click on Common Prompt.
Now sign in with your administrative account. Now type mbr2gpt space for slash validate and press enter. Okay, now as you can see the message validation completed successfully. After validating the disk layout, type the command mbr2gpt space for slash convert and press enter. Now please wait, Windows will start the conversion process and it will add all the wood files that are required to run your PC in UEFI firmware. Please do nothing until the conversion process is fully completed. Alright, as you can see the message, conversion completed successfully. And don't worry about this message, fail to upgrade reagent.xml. If you got this error message after conversion, then here's a certain tutorial for you. I'll be fixing it later. Whatever, now let's check if it's actually working or not. Close the command prompt and exit from the Windows Advanced Recovery environment and go to BIOS, change the BIOS mode legacy to UEFI, now press enter and again press enter to continue, now go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. We are done. As you can see, our Windows 10 is successfully boot in UEFI mode. Okay, now let me show you the current BIOS mode of this Windows 10. Alright, BIOS mode shows UFI and secure boot status enabled. Ok, now our Windows 10 is completely ready to upgrade to Windows 11. If you want you can check out here's a tutorial on how to upgrade to Windows 11. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or need any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.